subscribe to my channel and press bell icon for latest updates. Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we will discuss about hyperparameter overfitting, underfitting in naive base. In our last classes, we already discussed about naive base. We discussed about Laplace smoothing. We already discussed about uh, overfitting and underfitting. Uh, all these classes are very important for understanding this class. In this class, we will discuss about uh, how overfitting and underfitting happens in naive base model. So our assumption here is you have already watched all those classes. Uh, so please follow our playlist for better understanding of the subject. The link for playlist is provided in the description below. So now let's, this is the concept which we already discussed in our previous classes. Let's refresh the concept for one minute, then we go into the subject. Coming into the class, the data set which we are using in our previous classes is Amazon mobile data set. In the data set, we are having feedback and that feedback is given as positive or negative feedbacks. The training data set which we are considering here is we are having a 150 data points. Out of those 150 data points, we are having 100 positive and 50 negative data points. Okay. And uh, next, the testing data which we are considering here is it's elegant, works not good. This is the testing data which we are using here. And we already discussed that how naive base model is used is it will identify the probability of these words in testing data. It's it will identify the probability of this word in positive samples, probability of this word in positive samples, pro probability of these words in positive samples, positive samples, positive samples. Like that, it will identify the probability of these words in negative samples also. It will so what naive base model do is it will identify the probability of these words in positive class and negative class and it will multiply multiply those uh, probabilities that's what naive base model is will do so let's assume that this is, these are the probabilities that we are having in positive class and negative class 10 by 100 for word it's uh, elegant uh, 1 by 100 what's that mean is uh, out of 100 positive samples data data samples uh, one sample is having the word elegant. F8 is the feedback which is having the word elegant. That's the meaning of this probability. Out of all positive samples, out of all negative samples, how many feedbacks is having the word elegant? That's what we'll identify in a naive base. All this discussion mathematically clearly explained in our previous classes. So let's assume that 10 by 100 means we are having its in 10 feedbacks elegant in one feedback works in 10 feedbacks not in five feedbacks good in 15 feedbacks so multiply all those suppose we got a total value of 0.6 assume i am not calculating here assume that we got a value of the same way identify probabilities for negative class suppose we got a value of 0.2 which one is having the highest probability 0.6 so our naive base model will choose it as positive class uh, that is what naive base model do and we already discussed about laplace smoothing why we use laplace smoothing suppose a word is not found in any of the positive classes what's the probability we have to give for that word zero to avoid that situation we are using laplace smoothing uh, here we are taking the word elegant in positive class we are finding the probability what is the finding what's the probability of that word 1 by 100 by adding laplace smoothing what's the equation we got in our last class we discussed laplace smoothing 1 plus alpha by 100 plus alpha k k means number of classes alpha is chosen as 1 so in our last class we have stopped here alpha is equal to 1 and we we discussed that why we have to choose alpha is equal to 1 why not other value so which alpha value we have to choose that's what we'll understand in this class for understanding for better understanding we have to do some calculations on alpha so that we'll have a better understanding of the class so now let's do the calculations so the example word which we are taking here is elegant the same calculations apply to all the words. So hope you already know this formula. 
we discussed in previous class so thus they this formula applied to all the words we are showing only on one word elegant word so when alpha take alpha is equal to 0 probability of word elegant given ck is equal to 1 means in positive classes what's the when alpha is equal to 0 what's the probability 1 by 100 substitute alpha is equal to 0 1 plus 0 divided by 100 plus 0 into something 0 so we call it as 1 by 100 when alpha is equal to 1 probability of elegant given ck is equal to positive means 1 plus 1 by 100 plus 2 the probability value is 0 0.019 when alpha is equal to 2, probability of elegant given ck is equal to 1 is 1 plus 2 by 100 plus 4. The probability is 0 0.02. What we observed here is, as alpha value increasing, what's happening? 0 0.019, 0 0.02 means probability value also increasing. Now let's check when alpha is equal to 10,000, what's happening here? When alpha is equal to 10,000, 1 plus 10,000 by 100 plus 20,000. What's the output we'll get? 10,001 divided by 20,100. So approximately, this is the symbol for approximation. Approximately, we will get 1 by 2. Observe here, 10,000 by 20,000. So when alpha value increasing, what we have observed here is uh, the effect of original data. This is what uh, our original data is. The effect of original data is not at all affecting on the output, which is taking effect on the output, uh, 10,000 by 20,000. So as alpha value increasing, uh, which is taking effect on the output, alpha value is taking effect on the output. Uh, as alpha L value increases, original value, this point is very, very important. So try to understand it. As alpha value increasing, our value moving towards to 1 by 2, approximately 1 by 2, which is taking effect, alpha is taking effect on the output. Keeping this in mind, now if we apply alpha is equal to 10,000 value, observe it, what happened to our model. We are identifying probability for all the words. So it's... So because the original value is not taking effect, what is the probability we will get? Around 1 by 2 for alpha is equal to 10,000. Elegant, approximately 1 by 2. Works, approximately 1 by 2. Not, approximately 1 by 2. Good, approximately 1 by 2. Assume that all these multiplied values, we have to multiply this. We got 0.46. Assume that. The same thing at alpha is equal to 10,000. The same thing happens for negative also, negative samples also. Because the original value is not at all taking effect, what's the word it will get is 1 by 2, approximately 1 by 2, 1 by 2, 1 by 2, 1 by 2, approximately 1 by 2. So what will happen here is you will get approximately, assume that we got 0.45. So what we observed here as alpha value increases, Positive samples, negative samples, both showing the approximately same value means our model is biased to a value. This is what we discussed in underfitting class. Underfitted models are biased models. Our model is moving towards biasing. It's, it's biased to a value. Both positive class and negative class is showing the same value. So as alpha value increases, what's happening? Our model is moving towards underfitting. Now understand how overfitting is taking place in naive base. Let's take an example. Alpha is equal to 0. Suppose we are taking alpha is equal to 0. What will happen to the model? Let's understand it with an example. We thought, so when alpha is equal to 0, what is the probabilities that we'll get for all these words? It's elegant works, not good. 10 by 100, the same values. 10 by 100. So 10 by 100, 1 by 100, 10 by 100, 5 by 100, 15 by 100. So now what we are doing is we are eliminating feedback F8. Means we are eliminating feedback F8. So we changed the data a little. We, are, we have not changed the complete data. Just we changed the data a little. So what's happening to the probability value when we change the data set, a small amount of data set. So now when you calculate the probabilities of its elegant works not good, its probability is given as 
10 by 99 now uh, how many samples we have 99 we already eliminated one sample one data point uh, so 10 by 99 next uh, elegant uh, we already removed the word elegant we already removed this feedback uh, f8 now we don't have the word elegant uh, so what's the probability 0 by 99 10 by 99 5 by 99 15 by 99 for suppose this value we got it as 0 0.6 this value will get it as zero for small change in data set our model is changing much means high variance models in overfitting class we clearly discussed about high variance models high variance models are called as overfitted models for high variance means for small change in data set if our model is changing much then we call it as high variance models see here observe here for a small change in data set our model is changing much here 0 0.6 here we got zero so as alpha value moving towards zero our model is overfitting so which alpha we have to identify so as we already discussed in overfitting and underfitting class if our model is overfitted, what will happen? Testing accuracy will be less. If our model is underfitted, what will happen? Testing accuracy will be less. So when an alpha value is increasing, alpha is taken as x-axis, accuracy is testing, testing data accuracy is taken as y-axis. As alpha value increasing, initially alpha is equal to zero, what will happen? Our model is underfitting. At underfitting, if our model is underfitted model, what will happen? Testing accuracy will be less. As our alpha moving towards, as our alpha value is increasing, what will happen? We are moving away from overfitting. As we are moving away from overfitting, what will happen? Testing accuracy increases. At some point, again, testing accuracy is going down. Why? Why testing accuracy is going down? Again, as alpha value increasing, what's, what's happening to our model? That our model is moving towards underfitting. Again, testing accuracy decreases. This is the point where which we have to identify that alpha. At which point we are moving towards underfitting and the best alpha is this point. Okay. So alpha is called as hyperparameter for naive base. The tuning means identifying this best alpha, we call it as hyperparameter tuning. Okay, all this, we will do coding for all these concepts in our next couple of class, classes, okay. After a couple of classes, we will start coding for naive base and we will do all this concepts we will implement all these concepts in our coding session okay hope you understand the class if you have any questions regarding the class please post your questions on the comment section below please watch this class again and again until you get clarity on the subject this is very very important to understand thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you